Hello everyone and welcome back to Dead Cells. I had to get up and walk away after that last round. A little bit salty. A lot of bit salty. I was not happy with that in any way. I don't have anything to say about that, other than the fact that I'm not happy with the way that it worked out. That said, we're getting a little bit better at not taking as much damage, and I'm feeling more confident in dealing with the curses. So, <clears throat> we're going to focus on our damage more. <clears throat> Excuse me. jumping down, but I'm not going to complain about you taking extra damage. Ooh. Problems. Big problems. Frostblasts both do the same thing. Alright, we can't go farther this path. That's fine. <clears throat> I do want to figure out how to get over down in there, and I'm thinking the vine is the answer. And I'm actually positive that it is. Um. <clears throat> there we are. Hold up, let's go off to the side here. We didn't explore this way. So toxic sewers are different than the other sewers we saw, the old sewers. So that's a good thing to know. That said, I am not done in the promenade because there is an area forward there and I want to go through that path. We'll deal with the sewers at a later date. I think that's basically what I'm saying here. Projectiles reduced by 75%. Yes. That will be a lifesaver. Health, please. Oh, that sucks. Let's just pop that. So we're on the other side from where we were earlier. I like the fact that three hits kills almost everything. Shop? Shop. And the promenade. We already have a good amulet. 
We already have a good everything, actually. I do want to go over this way, and I want to go down here first. Just for the sake of killing this one guy. So if you do a plunge attack, no matter how far you fall, it does not stun you. It's a very important thing to remember. Okay, let's put in the one that we needed for that. 40%, 65%, really. Jeez. Um, we don't like shields, so that's not important to us. We will do blood sword. And I haven't seen an infantry bow. That's the thing. I feel like it's really rare, apparently. Um, we'll do throwing knives. I still haven't seen Knife Storm or the Horizontal Turret, and I've had those unlocked for a while. All I'm getting are these three right here. I don't know why. And Bear Trap, of course. Hmm. I didn't realize it did a damage increase. I'll have to use that more frequently when I actually have it. I have no cells left, so I don't know why I'm actually still looking. <laughs> Whoops. Well, there's the bear trap. Alright, let's get this shot. I will get this someday. I swear that I will. Well, I guess it's not today because they jumped out of their frozenness and instantly into an attack. Which kind of sucks. Okay, so we have grenade two. 100% burning on a target or freezing. Keep with the freezing. I almost went right down into those spikes. That would have been quite bad. Actually try going down here. Got a good feeling about. Never mind. We'll get that someday too. I swear. Take a carrot. I need a carrot. Up we go. Okay, that's the old sewers. We don't necessarily want to go there. I want to go to the area we were in last time. So we are currently underground, which means that if I had to venture a guess, to get to where we had to go, or to get to where we went last time, we have to go up above ground, because, you know, ramparts. It kind of just makes sense that you'd be in a higher location. Thank you. 
stop that. Ooh, I can totally cheese you through the wall, can't I? Oh, they thought about that. That's a bit of a shame. Hey guys, freeze. We have a fair bit of money and a fair number of cells. Jumping off blindly is not a smart idea. Okay, that's not pleasant. Okay, how am I gonna do this? outside of its range. And we're just gonna cheese that thing. You teleport now. That's a problem. I'm a genius. I played that so well. Okay, so poison the victim. Honestly, we're good with what we got. I'm actually a fair bit disappointed in our prize from that. Like, that should have led to at least a health pickup or something. Is there anything else over this way? Ooh, there is. Nothing you can get to, though. Up we go. Successfully. To the ramparts. We took out an elite... We played very well, all things considered. We have 21 cells to divvy up between our things and stuff. Um, should I start investing in this or not? Hmm. That is the question. I do like my ice grenades. I should drop some into that. I guess we'll drop some into the Twin Daggers as well. And here's the plan. We're going to drop basically everything we can into our weapons. And then any extra we'll drop into gold recovery. As soon as this unlocks, we'll drop everything we can into health. That's That sounds like a good plan, in my opinion. I might be wrong on the best way to do it, but that's my plan and I'm going to stick to it. Let's take out the ramparts next. Let's see what we can find in here.
Really nothing hidden behind that door. That's a little bit silly. I was hoping for a secret of some kind, but, you know, whatever. Shiny. I want that. It's an amethyst. Excuse you. Nothing down here. How odd. I should just teleport back up. We have 4,000 gold. Can I find a shot, please? Oh, come on. Oh. Some of them have more health than others. Oh, come on, not up. Ooh, there's timed ones in this one too. Eight minutes ago? Oh my god. That's ridiculously fast. Shield. Hey, that's something new. Come on. Perfect. Oh god, those things. Some enemies suddenly have more health, and you can't differentiate if they do or not. It's a minor detail. But I'm not a fan of that. Okay, there we go. I'm getting a little better. Okay, that's Blood Sword 3. We definitely want that instead. Mm. 
this is going to be mildly unpleasant. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, no, no, no. No. Mm, uh, 27 cells. That sucks. That does very much so. All right, let's make one more run. We got the whip. Okay. I hear Becca sneezing in the background. Faux blueprint, we got one of those before. Oh, come on. Oh, no, no, I don't want that. appreciated okay we actually don't want to go this way yet because we need to find our item room I actually like having two weapons like this. It makes a lot of sense. That said... What to get rid of? We're gonna stick- oh, we just did a run with the blood sword this episode, so let's go with the whip. Okay, this... hmm. Um... I'm debating. Because it would be pretty fantastic. I mean, there's no arguing that. The trouble is, do I feel like being cursed? I have to get rid of 40 enemies without taking damage once. Drop a bomb when you roll? Ooh, yeah, I, I'm gonna go for that. That said, this whip actually can be pretty dangerous considering we can accidentally curse ourselves with it. Alright, let's move on. Let's just do it. It might have made sense to go for that. It really might have. I'm not going to argue. But I don't want to risk it. I really just don't want to risk it. Hmm. 
I'll mess with that a little bit, I suppose. Oh my god, we're at full health. And full healing flask. <laughs> That's a little bit surprising, I'm not gonna lie. one health. Why the hell not? And realistically, I should kill us. Ah yes, it's breaking doors, I understand now. Debating on strength, but health would make sense. But we're gonna do strength because I like weapons. How much did we miss this by? A minute and 16 seconds. Ah, oh, that is tough. I'll take that gladly. Even though we have literally no skills. this? Magnetic grenade. Also, hello. Okay, we're gonna give this another shot. I want this. I want this to go through very much so. I'm stupid. I am just not good enough for those challenge rooms, I guess. Excuse you, but I wanted to go up through this. Okay, so that's the old sewers, so my hunch on that I'm thinking is basically right. Where if you go down and you have to use the vine, you will find the sewers. If you go up and have to use the vine, you will find the ramparts. This is why I like breaking doors. So stuff like that doesn't happen.
All right, we should be getting close then if we're going up here. So this is always by it, apparently. That's a good thing to know. There's always going to be those little mummy things near the entrance to the ramparts. So we're learning the language of the game. That's a fantastic thing. It's about time. Six more. So is this considered unlocking them? It is considered unlocking them. Okay. Okay. So that's why we're not seeing any of this stuff. We haven't unlocked it. Gotcha. So does that count, or is it only weapons? No, it's just in general. All right. So how do you tell one that's locked and unlocked? That's mildly confusing, actually. Oh, you're just going to drop them for me. <laughs> Gladly. And I'm going to give this a shot. Ice bow. So it freezes enemies. It's got a longer range, but it only freezes a single enemy at a time. So we'd have to be more careful with it, but it has some really good potential. I think we should roll with what we got. I really do, but... Because Frost Blast is especially useful against champions and such. And that recharges pretty quickly, actually. So how does that work? Shots pierce the first target. Interesting. And it inflicts 71 damage per second. That's kind of ridiculous. Huh. Probably not that ridiculous for endgame, of course, but... Need to try out the bow. can switch direction on the fly with that. That's really good to know. Ooh, lightning bolt. Lightning bolt, lightning bolt. And we have a chest. So there are chests on these further areas. Okay, that's actually an upgraded version of Frost Blast. Victim suffers bleed damage when it thaws. That's different than what I had. Ooh, that's tough, that's tough. I want to try it. I want to see how it is. And 
never know how good it is until we give it a shot. That is pretty good. So that we cannot break. There's a secret over there. I wonder how we get to that. Interesting. I mean, we're on no real rush for time because the things are already getting locked, so... No reason not to explore. You know what? I'm willing to bet that's... Oh, I'm wrong. Interesting. There are vines right there. I wonder if vines can signify a shortcut. Apparently not. Well, there's still a lot to learn about this game, so that's fine. We'll figure that out someday. this thing a lot, actually. I should not jump down that pit. use the rune. Let's hope that our turret here can save my life. I'm good at finding these, I will admit that. Two minutes and thirty seconds, that's the longest one yet. That is pretty spiffy. Okay, all you need to go on the far side. I shouldn't have gone that way. I saw that I was trapped in there and I didn't have a way out. That's a shame. We were doing pretty well on that too. That's the sad thing about it. Because the nice thing is it makes the enemies that have the... Oh, hello. Hi dear, what's up? Hi. I'm in the middle of recording. Just so you're aware. I just need you to charge this in a minute. Okay, I'll charge your headphones, dear. Ooh, not the... Uh, no, you're... What do you mean? Oh, I thought I hit something. No. <laughs> Thank you for getting the door. She did distract me a little bit. Let's blame it on that. <laughs> we'll go with more health. Yeah. 
I just realized I still have the freezy thing. Oh, idiot. Super idiot. Okay, so not only do we have the bear trap, but we have the turret and the freezy thing. We can cheese the hell out of stuff at the moment. I don't understand what the minus 50% means. Maybe it means they're half off? Uh... Throw more grenades, that's an important thing for us, I suppose. Okay, yeah, we couldn't have asked for that to go better. I'm not gonna lie. We have a lot of cells. Oh, I did not. I, ugh, I did not see that I didn't freeze him. Oh my god. He was like right there and he should have been frozen, but it ignored him. Oh. And I had heals too. That's the worst part about it. That is without a doubt the worst part about it, but I suppose that's fine because this is where we're going to end things. Hope you guys have enjoyed this one. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys next time.